glycerin or not to glycerin. It's Mama Day here. So I am testing this theory on to glycerin. Basically, this is an anti-humectant video, and I've used a combination of a different products, some that have glycerin on the fourth ingredient, some that have it on the tenth, and some that have it on none whatsoever. And I want to see, because it's raining outside, and right now the glycerin is fighting to do its job, will my hair keep the style that it's in? or will it actually absorb the moisture? The glycerin doing its job as a humectant, absorb the moisture and cause more frizz to my hair. You wanna see the products I use and the results? Stay tuned. Hi guys, so I have my hair parted in four sections. On the left, all my hair is wet and on the right, they're just two dry puffs. The first set of products I will be using is a spray bottle with just water in it, the Moisture Guru by Centanicals, my anti-humectants will be the avocado oil and the olive oil, and I'll be using the Cream of Nature Cream of Polisher, which has silicones in it. Okay, so my hair is already semi-wet, but I'm going through it all the way through from roots deep down and lifting the hair just to make sure it is thoroughly wet all the way throughout. If you see it, I'm picking it up by sections and just lifting the hair up to make sure it's thoroughly wet and then just kind of brushing it down so the hair can absorb all that moisture. Now the Moisture Guru has glycerin in the fourth ingredient. I'm gonna apply my leave-in Aphrodisia 9, just to pump and then just apply that to all the way throughout the hair and moisturize it. Now I'm gonna section it off and do flat twist. Now I'm adding the Moisture Guru. I'm not doing the lock method, I'm doing the LCO method. Then I'm gonna take my avocado oil and olive oil, put that down in ample amount and then brush it down. Remember the purpose is to try to stop that glycerin. And then I use the Argon Oil Polish from Cream of Nature. It has silicones in it, so I'm hoping that would help to avoid the moisture coming out and keeping it locked in. And I'm just gonna rub that down in my hair. And then I'm just gonna flat twist it. Really simple, easy hairstyle. I'm just gonna flat twist all of my hair. If you want to know how to flat twist, I will put a link down below. The second products I used was aloe vera juice and Twine Couture's Exotic Buttercream Hydrator avocado oil and olive oil and Cerniti's cupcake shea butter and coconut oil mix. So I'm going to take my aloe vera juice and I'm just going to spray this just to moisturize my hair not so much for it to be soaking wet but in order for me to manipulate my hair. And then as always making sure that your hair absorbs that moisture before you start manipulating it. Glycerin is the 11th gritty in the exact buttercream hydrator. Then I'm just adding my leave-in here. Again, I'm gonna start all these on with leave-in because this is freshly washed hair. Now I'm gonna start with the avocado oil and the olive oil, doing the lock method. Taking the exotic buttercream hydrator and then following up with the Cerniti Shea Butter Coconut Oil Mixture. Why applying this? I wanna talk a little bit about how great coconut oil is for anti-humectant. Coconut oil is a hydrophobic oil. It can repel water from the surrounding area and environment. It also is able to bind to the natural protein structure of our hair. It helps to retain moisture, content, and reinforces the hair's fiber, making it stronger. It can prevent protein loss and reduce the hair's porosity, which is a high porosity hair's dream. Third product results, I will be using Camille Rose's Almond J Twisting Butter, which is a water-based product high quality H2O and my avocado oil and olive oil as my anti-humectant. The Camille Rose has no glycerin in it. All right, I'm just gonna spray my hair down with water just to help manipulate my hair before styling. 
Again, adding my leaving into the separated section. Adding the Camille Rose Almond Jade Twisting Butter. I don't consider this a butter because it is water-based. If you don't know what water-based means, it means the first ingredient on here is water, not butter. Then I'm gonna add my avocado oil and olive oil. Part my hair and then just flat twist it going down. Again, I'm going to finish this section of my hair and move on to the last area. The last product we're going to use is the TGIN Twisting Define Cream, the avocado oil and olive oil, and the Happy Nappy Honey Whipped Vanilla Butter. I'm also using this on wet hair. Last one, spraying it down with water. And then adding my leave-in conditioner. Adding the TGIN Twisting Cream, yes, I was a little on the heavy-handed side of that. Don't add that much, but let's keep going. Next, adding the avocado oil and olive oil, and then the Shea Butter Happy Nappy Honey Whipped Vanilla Cream. Why? Because the Twisting Cream is a water-based product. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish twisting my hair, and then I will see you the next day. Bye. Real quick, I'll give you guys a 360 before I go to bed. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna take that oil, rub it on my hands, and then rub it all the way down my hair and get ready to unravel my hair. Just to remind you, I used the Moisture Guru, which had glycerin in the fourth ingredient, and these are the results. It looks frizzy to me, but let me unravel all of it. Okay, here's my hair. You kind of have definition, but it still looks somewhat frizzy. We'll move on to the next section. Next section, this is the one that had the glycerin in the 11th ingredient, and I used coconut oil. It's not that bad, you see definition, but it does have some slight frizz. I'll keep unraveling and we'll see it as a whole section. Okay, so here are the results. You do see definition, but there still is some frizz visible. Not as much as the frizz with the product that had the glycerin and fourth ingredients, but some slight frizz. On to the products that have no glycerin in them in their results when it comes to my curl definition. I'm pleasantly surprised. Very good curl definition and style. Not a lot of frizz either. I like it. And the last product, we're going to go ahead and unravel this and see what it looks like. Again, the results are very curly and great curl definition and not a lot of frizz, but we're not done. These are just the results inside my house of the front and the back of my hair. Now I wanna take it outside and test it. I wanna mention I'm gonna stay out here for about 10 minutes. It really won't take that long for the glycerin to actually start absorbing the moisture in my hair. If it is not sealed enough, it won't take that long. Um, Final results. So you have the entwined contour, it has definition, but there's still frizz. Then you have the moisture guru, which I feel is frizz the most, which is expected. And then the back of my hair, I really think stayed the same throughout. So no glycerin. Hmm. And as always, I hope you like it. You love it. Comment below and tell me what you think. Bye.